What's up guys, CJ from Team Millennium Ninja back with a brand new episode of part six. And I'd just like to take a moment to welcome you all to the Island of Bubbles as this week the crew gets stuck in a small island village where there's not a whole lot to do. And we follow their exploits through the lens of a local inhabitant, a young girl by the name of Muru who has an overactive imagination, always coming up with outlandish stories. And as she runs across Fujiko and the other members of the Lupin crew, she comes up with a story about them being suitors pining for Fujiko's affections with different backstories. And Besides that, there's really not a whole lot to talk about this week. This episode felt very directionless and pointless. Though, despite that, I would say I had a pretty good time watching it. I was laughing basically the whole episode. And I really like the idea of viewing the crew through this lens of someone who has no idea who they are, just concocting whole stories based on their appearance, with a lot of the comedy in the episode coming from the contrasting depictions of the characters, especially when Muru has Jigen and Goyamon act out what she had written. And I don't know what I was really expecting from this episode, but I guess from the trailer last week, I was hoping that the mermaid legend would have more to do in the episode than it did because we get the mermaid legend at the beginning of the episode and it doesn't really play into anything until fujiko mentions it to lupon and they decide since there's nothing better to do to go look into it but then they show the actual mermaid at the end of the episode which is not only cliche as all hell but really unnecessary which i guess if i had one word to describe this whole episode unnecessary would be it because while it was enjoyable at the end of the day it just feels like one big fat nothing of an episode and when the gang's talking about the job that they just did that they were coming back from when they got stuck here it just kind of makes me want to see that instead because while there's nothing really offensive about this episode and it's not even boring there's just not much to it besides characters talking to each other and i'm already struggling to have anything else to say about it really like oh the fishermen they existed Muru is fun to follow because of her imagination, but when they tried to add the part of her talking to Lupin about love, it just fell completely flat and didn't even have like a point or message behind what they were saying. It just felt like Lupin was supposed to say something deep here and then he didn't. And the crew doesn't really do much outside of Muru's stories, which is probably the biggest problem in the episode, where by trying to highlight how boring the city is, they just make the characters boring as well. And I mean, the whole draw of Lupin is fun characters doing wacky things and pulling off interesting heists, right? And while I do also love when they tone it down and explore the characters more, this episode doesn't really do that either. It's just kind of a middle ground between the two. And then the whole episode is in service of Muru, and the problem with that is she's a one-off character Character that we're never gonna see again so when she's the one driving the plot i just don't care and do you know what all good stories have that this one doesn't conflict that's right there is no real conflict in this episode all the conflict is completely manufactured by muru and we know it the whole time so it's just a matter of waiting for the proverbial shoe to drop which it really doesn't even as the big reveal at the end of the episode is that fujiko fails all three of the guys which we knew from the outset that jigen and goyamon weren't even really in contention so i thought it would have been fun if she messed with them and picked one of those two as a joke and then that could have been a funny reveal as well as a subversion of expectations or at the very least just have Jigen and Goemon playing along until they figure out it's Fujiko and then they tell Muru that they couldn't care less and see her reaction to that. But alas, this episode was never meant to be anything more than filler, I guess. Hopefully next week can be better in, in this run of subpar episodes, but it's going to be another one-off, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. It looks like it's going to be a mystery following a new one-off girl finding her mom. Sounds like it could be interesting, so I hope to see you guys there. And this has been CJ from Team Millennium Ninja, headed back to the village, hidden in the internet.